हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम लक्ष्मी कामत व्लॉग्स एंड इफ यू न्यू हियर मेक शोर यू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड जॉइन माय यूट्यूब जर्नी इट्स आर डे वन ऑफ ओरिसा ट्रिप एंड टू वॉच हाउ वी रीच डियर एंड आर फर्स्ट फ्लाइट एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन एंड यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो देर वी आर करेंटली इन पूरी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू जगन्नाथ मंदिर नाउ so we will go near the mandir go to the grand road and meet one pandit ji uh, and he will take us inside the temple so let's begin jai jagannath this is the grand road of puri with where the rath yatra happens rath yatra is generally in july time frame three chariots are pulled this is a very wide road and uh, shops open on both the sides If you know somebody, you okay, if you have a car or something, you can keep it in the car. This is the grand road of Puri which has shops and stalls on both sides of the road it's a very wide road and on Rath Yatra the three chariots will be taken from the temple on this road lot of shopping options on this grand road where the uh, markets and the shops are open on both the sides and in the evening time after 3 4 o'clock lot more shops will open also from the parking car parking area jagannath ballav parking to the temple may be about 1 1 and 1/2 kilometers to walk so that's a, it's a long road as well due to the cyclone rainfall and wind it's becoming very cold it's getting very cold here जोर से बोलो जय जगन्नाथ जगन्नाथ टेंपल बहुत पुण्य की है मैंने जो यहाँ आने का भाग्य मिला टेंपल लुक्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एंड गॉड जस्ट फ्रॉम आउट साइड बहुत पुण्य की है मैंने जो यहाँ आने का भाग्य मिला वाओ आई कॉन्ट बिलीव आई एम कमिंग टू विजिट द टेंपल Thank you, Lord Jagannath, for making this trip possible, making everything work out. Thank you very much, God. And after this, we went inside the temple where phones were not allowed. So here are some important points I wanted to tell you about uh, visiting Jagannath Mandir. All, all the information that I know, I will tell you all. So we were four people, and we had come in a cab. what we did was we kept three of our phones in the car itself in the dicky of the car and then only i carried the phone because i wanted to vlog now my phone was also not allowed inside near around the temple premises you can ask for a phone stand chappal stand so in the chappal stand they take your phone and keep it's pretty safe i kept my iphone 14 pro that kind of a phone in that stand yeah i was you know kind of scared but i kept i left it all on lord jagannath and thought it will be safe so for phone i think they charge 10 rupees and chappal 10 rupees leave the phone and the chappal in the chappal stand if you don't need phone to take photos or anything then you can just not carry the phone at all leave it in the room or leave it in the car or whatever so and before going decide a pre point where you'll all meet if at all you get lost so that's another thing so yeah there are some important points which i wanted to tell you about uh, visiting jagannath mandir so first thing is it's all crowded all almost all the days Uh, weekends saturday sunday so it's heavily crowded on saturday sunday so if you can visit on a weekday that will be the best mornings 4 o'clock to 7 or 8 o'clock do not go to the temple it is ultra heavy crowded 
you can go in the afternoons around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock or in the night time after 6, 7 o'clock. How to go inside the temple is through standing in the queue. The queue can take about three, 2 or 3 hours. What we had done is through our contacts, we had got a Panditji's number. So the Panditji was a very nice man, he was Sagar. So with Sagar Panditji, we went inside the temple. We met him near the Jagannath Ballav parking. And he took us uh, and he made our phone, he kept our phones in the stand. And then he took us in. So this Panditji skipped all queues. So if you go with the Panditji, you can skip all queues. There is no queue, no crowd. They'll directly take you inside the main way itself, but they'll take you inside without standing in any queue. So uh, there are some other Panditji outside who will tell that they'll take you inside. So I'm not sure how, uh, how good or bad that is how much they will charge. This Panditji did not charge any money as is from us. So he took us in and uh, he showed us very nicely, explained everything, our um, dharma, stories about our dharma and uh, the god and how the temple was formed and everything. So we avoided skew that way and we went on a Wednesday, December 6th. It was heavy cyclone and we went at 3.30 in the afternoon. So because of that, the crowd was very less and we almost walked very smoothly and went. The queue was also not there as is. So 3.30 if you go in the afternoon, you will get the Mahaprasad of the temple. Get to eat it uh, in the leaf. Then our Panditji told us not to pay one single rupee inside to any Panditji. Uh, anywhere if they off tell you they will put tikka or they will give you bangles to offer to God. Do not accept it. They will only start demanding money from you. The Panditji inside the temple will only start demanding money from you. So do not give money anywhere. Once you give to one person, then others will all come after you. So best is do not give money to anywhere. If you want to donate to the temple, there is a separate place called uh, Temple Committee where you can give Annadan. So we gave 1500 rupees Annadan there. So that way you can donate to the temple. It, you'll get a receipt of it as well. Yeah, again, one more thing about crowd is you can avoid Thursdays, they say, and Saturday, Sunday. Thursday is Lakshmi Puja in uh, Orissa, it seems. That's why there will be a lot of crowd. We got to eat the bhog through our Panditji who took us inside. He showed us Lord Jagannath. And uh, yeah, inside, right, in, very inside the temple, there are three gods. On the left side, you can see white colored uh, Balabhadra. In between is Subhadra Mata and right side black color idol is Jagannath Shri Krishna. They generally don't let you stand beyond one or two minutes but we had this Panditji well along with us. We could stand there and see God for four or five minutes. It was such a amazing experience. Oh my God, I literally started crying uh, seeing God because I could not believe that I can, I am coming to see God. And one more, and another thing is, they believe in Odisha that you don't go to Jagannath Puri. Jagannath calls you to Puri. If only Jagannath calls, you can go to Puri, it seems, and visit that mandir. Otherwise, it's not uh, possible. It's very, very lucky. Then the bhog that we ate was amazing. It tasted very delicious. This happened through the Panditji. He arranged it for us. If, if if you do not go through the Panditji, there is a separate place called Anand Bazaar where you can buy and eat the bhog. Per plate, it will be 50 rupees. There will be 5-6 items and rice, dal and uh, the prasad basically. It's the Mahaprasad of the God. And uh, the Jagannath Mandir has the world's biggest kitchen. So it's always on the go and uh, the way they cook is they keep uh, one uh, earthen pot on top of another earthen pot and cook and in the wooden fire. It is believed that the top, it, the uh, topmost earthen pot gets cooked first it seems. Actually it should be the lowermost one which is closer to the flame right. But this is the topmost one gets cooked first and then followed by the rest it seems. So that's God's Mahima. God, Bhagwan Krishna ki Leela. And uh, so you can go to Anand Bazaar, pay uh, 50 rupees and get uh, the plate. 
of uh, food and also you can buy prasad to take home as well the khaja prasad or the mixed prasad whichever you want 100 rupees 50 rupees it starts so those khaja prasad it's basically a sweet which you can carry home it does not get spoiled for uh, about uh, two three uh, one or two weeks 15 20 days nothing happens it stays very good very intact you can carry and uh, bring it to your home. Your private vehicles are allowed only till Jagannath Ballok parking and from the parking to the temple is about 1 or 2 kilometers walk. So if you don't have to walk, there is free electric uh, rickshaws uh, so which will take you to the temple. This is free service. For senior citizens, they will be separate. For others also, it's all free from the parking till the uh, temple. And uh, yeah, so this Panditji whom we went through our contacts, Sagar Panditji, he did not charge, he did not ask us any money, he did not demand, we only gave him 500 rupees because we were ha very happy with the uh, with whatever experience we had going inside the temple, getting the bhog which we never thought we will get and um, seeing the God for good 5 minutes. So we were very happy with him and we gave him 500 rupees. He did not demand any dakshina. Uh, he told us about the mandir and only Hindus are allowed inside the temple. And uh, for non-Hindus, there is another idol at the start of the temple which is kept. You can pray to Jagannath and come from there. And uh, Jagannath, the name means Jagat Ke Nath. Uh, so Jagannath is not just Orissa's God, he is considered as entire world's God. Jagat means world, Nath means God. So you can go there and uh, pray, pray with full devotion. Definitely they believe that whatever you pray, you will get it. So the temple is open throughout the day. There is no closing time. So uh, from morning 4 o'clock till evening 10, 11 o'clock till night, it is open. So you can visit any time. I would suggest it's best to take a Panditji whom you know or somewhere outside to skip the queues if you don't want to stand in the line. But ask him first, negotiate on the price. He should not demand 1000, 2000 rupees from you. And again, yeah, another point is please do not pay any money inside. They will loot you. Uh, so they will not allow you to put money in the temple hundi, uh, temple dabbi, what to say. Uh, the donation box also they will not let you put money it seems. They will uh, grab it and take it for themselves the Panditji inside. So be careful about that. Yes, I hope I answered all your queries. What a divine experience. We could not go. We cannot take, you cannot take phone inside. So Shibashish Das gave us uh, this number, this priest number who took us inside the temple hassle free. So quick, so fast. So we had a great time. He showed us all the temple. He made us stand in front of Jagannath the Lord for about a long time. And otherwise we had to stand in queues and go inside. So thanks to the Panditji. Oh, and we had the Mahaprasad also. It was very, very tasty. And then they gave us a box full of kajas and we did Annadhan of 1500 rupees. The market area of Jagannath temple. The main temple is there. This is the queue in which you have to stand and go. Lord Jagannath gave me the park here to have his darshan. I'm so happy. <laughs> Found a shop. They're, they're selling bags and all. Huh? PM and already so dark because of cyclone effect. It's December and uh, it's supposed to be cold, but then cyclone happened. Cyclone Niang Ching something I don't know the name. <laughs> that one is causing all the havoc here. So much rain, so much rain, my God. Bhuvaneshwar should not have this much rain, I think. But this is Puri, which is closer to the ocean, closer to, closer to the Bay of Bengal Sea. That's why this is the case, maybe. Look at the weather. Look at the shops. 
raining drizzling ayyo and from there we came to this temple called gundicha temple which is closed throughout the year it is closed it opens only during rath yatra and here are some pictures which we clicked again i'd like to say the same thing me guruji my father in law and mother in law have done really punya to visit jagannath mandir jai jagannath thanks for blessing us all we reached room changed clothes and very fruitful day indeed where we got to see lord jagannath so thanks to shibashish and uh, the pandit ji who took us inside jagannath temple and made us give us a very great darshan of god so that's all that i have for this video let's end the vlog here thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button if you liked the video and uh, tell me all your thoughts in the comments and i'll pin the first one i hope i have given you all all the information that i knew how to visit jagannath mandir So if you need any more information let me know in the comments I'll be ready to answer all your queries whichever I know and I'll meet you in the next video until then take care bye jai shri krishna